Another big announcement today is that CPU startup Nuvia is to be acquired by Qualcomm. What's your minimum specification? The deal for the acquisition appears to be $1.4 billion uh, cash that Qualcomm is paying for Nuvia. Uh, Nuvia is a company, if you've not heard of them, they're a startup founded last year by Gerard Williams III, um, former Apple engineer, one of the main CPU architects behind uh, Apple's key SOCs over the last decade or more. With him, he founded uh, the company was co-founded uh, between him and a couple of uh, old Apple engineers who had been at uh, Google as well, uh, Manu Galati and John Bruno. Now, uh, these three are silicon team powerhouse almost, and the whole point about Nuvia was to create ARM CPUs for servers and enterprise, but with you know, Apple's style levels of performance. The goal here was to create something much better than x86, much better than anything else in the market, and key investors include Dell. Their office is actually in one of the old Dell buildings uh, in Santa Clara. And we were, expect, we were expecting a Nuvia product uh, dubbed Orion, built on the Phoenix core, uh, sometime perhaps next year, late next year. So today's acquisition is a bit of a surprise, really, because we were under the impression that Nuvia would at least get some form of product out into the market before either having an IPO or getting acquired. Uh, Nuvia over... It's, uh, I think it went through uh, two, three rounds of funding, uh, $240 million was the last round of funding, uh, taking the company up to about $300 million. So this $1.4 billion acquisition is a three, three, four-fold uh, increase in what uh, venture capitalists have actually put in already. So what does this mean for Qualcomm? Uh, Qualcomm have stated that all the employees uh, will become part of Qualcomm and the Nuvia team will become part of Qualcomm. Uh, Qualcomm has already had an attempt at uh, ARM-based server CPUs, so with the Centric processor line. That product line was gutted, uh, cancelled, and sort of stayed on very at a low level due to an agreement with a Chinese distribution. That is now completely gone, so the fact that Qualcomm have acquired Nuvia, or to acquire Nuvia, could mean that Qualcomm is interested in moving back into the server market. However, the press release that was associated with uh, this announcement uh, highlights that the need for Qualcomm to develop uh, better cores for um, smartphones, smartphone SOCs, and for automotive. Now, the whole I understood that the whole reason that uh, these trio of co-founders of Nuvia um, were going to make a server chip is because they hadn't had the ability to make a server chip. They'd been making smartphone SOCs for quite a while, so... To be acquired by Qualcomm and then go back to making smartphone SSCs seems a bit weird to me. Um, I was under the impression they wanted to really make an attack on the server market, offer something with higher single goal performance than anything before. But Qualcomm, obviously Qualcomm's revenue model uh, right now uh, with the smartphone stuff means that they're more focused on the smartphone, the automotive and that sort of thing. So to me, this deal, it makes sense for Qualcomm. Uh, Qualcomm acquires a top class uh, CPU design team. Uh, with a proven track record at the previous companies that they've been in, and and acquires uh, relative IP to build out its smartphone SOC base, um, and you know get off this track of using standard uh, ARM Cortex IP and move to a more I guess Apple like IP, depending on whatever uh, Nuvia were creating. So, but from Nuvia's perspective, okay, it means the founders have cashed out, made for life. Um, all three. Uh, Top of the company will become direct employees and so will all the CPU architects and engineers. It'll be interesting how that develops, whether Qualcomm will leave them alone to do what they need to do or whether they will start integrating them tightly into Qualcomm's ecosystem. Qualcomm, as you may know, has announced that uh, CEO um, Molenkopf is stepping down mid-year and uh, Cristiano Amon, who's headed up their Snapdragon team and their mobile team and their 5G growth, uh, he now takes over as CEO. Cristiano is a great guy. I've interviewed him a few times. Uh, it'd be interesting to hear what he says. I'd like to get some thoughts from him, also get some thoughts straight from Nuvia about what this acquisition means. But yeah, interesting time. I would like to hear whether the server roadmap for Nuvia is still on the cards, really. But shoehorning it into uh, smartphones, yeah, could stand Qualcomm in better stead against its other ARM competition and against Apple. So let me know what you think in the comments below. This is... Interesting times in the industry that we cover.
and uh please don't forget to like and subscribe uh, there's also a patreon thank you to our premium patreon members and uh yeah what's nuvia's minimum specification now <laughs>